What's going on guys? This is Antoine aka The Big Fella. Don't mind all that noise in the background. I'm actually at the hunting club right now because I'm about to do that shotgun test with my Mossberg 500 full choke that came with the gun versus that kicks butt kicker extra full choke to see how close the patterns are and compare them with one another. I actually have four targets set up here behind me. The um, reason I have four is because I bought two separate loads. I got double lot buck and number one buck. So I want to do uh, a test of each with uh, the regular full choke with a double lot buck and full, um, number one. And then put the uh, full choke, extra full choke on there and do it with the uh, same loads. So let me go ahead and get up here, set up and load. I'm going to be shooting from 45 yards. And uh, we'll do a comparison at the end after I shot all the shots. All right, you guys, here's the Mossberg 500 full choke that comes with the gun when you purchase it. Um, this one goes into the barrel and actually mounts flush with the tip of the barrel. And um, this is the one I was using last year. Unfortunately, I didn't even see any deer to be able to shoot at it to uh, you know, how, see how it does during hunting. But uh, we're going to find out here today how um, it actually does in comparison with the extra full choke that comes from uh, Kick's Buck Kicker. Um, this one, um, it actually sits outside of the barrel, and as you can see, it has these little holes in there, which is supposed to re reduce recoil. And that's another thing I want to test to see if it actually reduces recoil compared to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a double lot buck shot in the uh, chamber, and then put a number one buck in the magazine, and shoot them simultaneously at the target. And then I'll go ahead and screw this one on and do the same with the extra four. Now last year I shot three inch double lot buck which I believe has 15 pellets in it. Um, Walmart didn't have any uh, three inch, all they had was two and three quarters. So I went ahead and got a box of those. They only have nine pellets in there. So we're gonna be looking for nine pellets with the uh, double lot buck. And the number one buck, which is gonna be the first time I've shot this, is um, has 16 pellets in it in a two and three quarter inch box. So um, let me go ahead and load it up and we'll go ahead and start shooting. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the full choke that comes with the gun. Go ahead and get that screwed down in there. And if you don't uh, bring the uh, regular wrench that comes with the gun, don't worry. If you use a regular quarter, it uh, fits actually in a little slot so you can finish screwing it in so it's nice and snug. Alright, so let's go ahead and we're going to do the double lock buck first. Gun is on safety. I'm gonna throw that in the and then we're gonna take the number one buck into the magazine. All right, let me go down here and uh, double confirm to uh, which target is which. So I'm making sure I'm shooting at the uh, right one. I actually have them labeled um, so I can actually tell the difference. All right, guys, here we go. I made a mark on the ground, okay, right here at my feet. 45 yard shot. All right, let me go ahead and take this choke out and we'll go ahead and do the extra full. All right, got the full choke out and I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, extra full. I hear some gunshots in the distance, so it sounds like somebody's doing the same thing. It also, it's also muzzle loader season right now, so that might have been somebody shooting a muzzle loader. Right across the street, there's a wildlife management area. I can't remember if you can use black powder over there or not, but um, somebody might have just got themselves a deer. But um, let me go ahead and uh, reload. Sorry, I'm putting my quarter back in my pocket as well. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same double lot buck in the chamber number one buck in the magazine and we're going to go ahead and shoot at our target. I need to also make sure I have it lined up properly as well. So let me go ahead and uh, triple confirm. This would be like the third or fourth time I had to walk down here and do this. All right, you guys, double out buck on the left, uh, far left, and number one buck um, second from left. All right, now let's go down here and do this comparison test to see how it is. I'm gonna leave this uh, choke on here because this is the choke I plan on um, hunting with this season just to get. All right, you guys, I'm down here at the target now and um, they're actually looking pretty good here. Let me show you guys the comparison. 
All right, you guys, on the double ot buck full choke, you can see my uh, pattern there. Seems like there's that one right here that's uh, all out of whack, but it seems like the other eight are right there in the center. Now, the number one full choke, that's actually a little bit surprising to me. It's a, a nice cluster right there, center mass. Let me make sure that's all 16, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, and then number 16 is down there for some reason. So it seems like uh, with the full choke, it's that one odd pellet that's just out of uh, the cluster there. So let's go ahead and check out the extra full. All right, you guys, here's the double lot buck kicks buck kicker and extra full. As you can see, all nine pellets are right there center masked. I don't have that one pellet that's, uh, you know, like at the top of the board or at the bottom of the board like the uh, full choke. So let's go ahead and check out the uh, number one buck. And here's the number one buck kicks buck kicker. Don't mind that spider. That's not a spot. Um, and here's all 16 pellets. I mean, I do see that one little errant one down there, but it seems like they're, uh, you know, nice and clustered well together. And I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison here as well. Here are both shots side-by-side, -side, uh, both number one buck. Um, this one is the extra full and that one's the regular full. As you can see with the extra full, it's more pellets center mass. Like, you got those there, and then you got those there with that one errant one down here. Um, let me do the uh, double lot buck side by side and here is the uh, double lot bucks in both shots um, doing them side by side um, they actually look pretty close in comparison um, the only exception is with the full choke I got that one errant shot way up here at the top of the board whereas uh, all nine pellets are more so of a center mass I think I'm liking this choke a lot. I'm not sure what it is with the uh, full choke that comes with the gun that has that one little errant pellet that's just like uh, nowhere near the center mass, but that extra full choke seems to be putting all the pellets there center mass. So I think I'm going to go ahead with that choke this year. Um, that particular choke, it can take two and three quarters and three inch shots with a double lot buck, number one buck, and number four buck. Um, I didn't have any number four buck with me. I didn't actually buy any. But if you guys want to see that comparison as well, let me know down there in the comment section. I'll be glad to go get some number four buck and shoot it through this choke as well. All right, you guys, that's going to conclude the choke test portion of this video. The rest of this video is vlog footage from the weekend. I took the family out to a pumpkin patch and we did some fun things there. And then I actually took both of my boys, my four-year-old and my 10-year-old, out for a hunt. It was my four-year-old's first time in the woods. I'll forewarn you, we didn't see any deer or kill any deer. Um, but, you know, just to see the joy in his face being out uh, in the woods hunting with his dad, um, I couldn't compare that to killing another deer. So, um, without further ado, here's the rest of that footage for you guys. Okay. You want to mark me? Must be physically fit. Guess that's a no-go for me because I have trouble getting out of bed in the morning. It hurts. <laughs> you got a major head spark, dude. Oh, <laughs> God, yeah. no. Almost. Watch the road, Gavin.
Did what? Well, I don't know. Very Guys, this place has a pretty good idea. I guess not a lot of people take pumpkins home um, after Halloween, and um, they're starting to mold and stuff. So they um, allow you to smash it right here on the, in the garden. So um, we got this big boy here. We're about to go ahead and smash it. Back up, some Isaiah. He said the smaller ones would be harder to break. Good morning, you guys. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Um, I know it's kind of late to be starting off a hunting day, but I got both boys with me today. I really wanted to take Gavin out there in the woods. He seems amped about it. I didn't want to wake him up at like 4, 4.30 because he would have been grumpy in the woods and I wanted him to be able to enjoy it. So I wanted him to get his rest. But uh, we're going to go ahead and sit in my ground blind. Uh, hopefully we see a deer come by today. I have a feeling Gavin's going to be a little on a talkative tough side because he's excited. Which is um, A-OK -okay by me. It's just uh, more of the memory that I want to create with him and uh, actually get him into hunting. But um, we're packing up now. I'm about to go out here in the woods. So uh, wish us luck. Alright you guys. We're uh, strapped and loaded and everything. We're going to go ahead and hit the woods. Got Monster, Kareel, Isaiah, Gavin, and me. Hopefully we see a little something today, but we're going to go ahead and open up the word of prayer. Lord, Father God, we come to you now just to say thank you for another day. We want to bless this hunt. Pray that we see something, but if we don't, we'll still <coughs> splendor in your magnificent scenery, Lord. Please keep us safe. Um, let no hurt, harm, or danger come to us. These prayers and all prayers we pray for your name. Amen. 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 Touch it again. Hit it. Hit it like a doggy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kill it. Yeah, squirrel season is in, rabbit season is in. Um, Eric, he got a squirrel before we got here this morning, so uh, he's got meat on the table already this morning. Oh yeah, guys, and a bit of good news. I got the camera working. I found the uh, external battery pack that I can... The battery Yeah, acorn. I found the external battery pack that I can charge the uh, bat, just the batteries, and since the charging port on the camera itself is broke, so uh, we're back in business, but I'm gonna still ask Santa for um, GoPro Here's Hero 7. Go. should uh, drive a uh, follow right to my sheep lanes. Alright you guys, we came back out of the woods, we weren't seeing any deer, um, Gavin was being a little bit too loud anyway, 
So we're gonna go ahead and switch over to do some squirrel hunting. I'm gonna actually try and take one with the crossbow today. Okay. Alright you guys, we're back out of the woods again. Uh, we didn't see any squirrel or deer or anything like that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and call it a day. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon. We're going to go to McDonald's, grab some food. Well there you have it guys. Can't beat quality time with the family. Don't forget the uh, MTB LTB contest for this month is still going on. If you um, haven't entered that contest, make sure you hop over to that video and check that out. I'll put a link right there in the top right hand corner of the screen so you guys can click on that and go enter. But um, that's going to do it for this episode of Big Fella Outdoors. Be sure to tune into the next episode. You can catch me outside doing what I love most. Getting my dose of the great outdoors. Be sure to get y'all's too.